Attorney General Mark Burnovich's office is now asking the FBI and the IRS to look into a controversial election group that claimed it uncovered widespread fraud in the 2020 election. But it turns out that they never provided any of the evidence they promised to. Authorities, news, uh, promised to give authorities, rather. News for Tucson's Destiny Quinn shares the impact it could have on several political campaigns. The two filmmakers behind the film, 2000 Mules, claim they had provided the Attorney General's office and the FBI with hard drives about their claims of election fraud. The alleged scheme relied on geolocation data on mobile devices and surveillance videos. A letter from the AG Special Investigations Office reveals the two filmmakers never provided the goods. The nonprofit True the Vote distributed the movie, claiming it unveiled a widespread plot of people involved in illegal ballot harvesting. The two activists behind the film even got a hearing at the state Senate. The film has received praise from top Republican candidates in Arizona. They are mules who stuffed these drop boxes. The whole election system was so corrupt from top to bottom. And I tell you that, I mean, you just see the 2000 Mules documentary. I just watched that the other day. I mean, it's atrocious what happened. These mules are using gloves and taking them off. There's so much fraud that we we're just discovering now. And there are other reasons why people might have been dropping off ballots, we should point out. The AG's office says in his letter, despite repeated requests and meeting with the True the Votes founders, they never provided the hard drive they promised to give and only gave the FBI one audio recording and one video interview. Quote, True the Vote never did provide the information it reported to have in its possession. The AG's office is recommending the IRS and the FBI look further into the organization because in their words, quote, they raise considerable sums of money. Destiny Quinn, News 4, Tucson.